Greetings, salutations, YouTube. What is up? Today is Monday, May something. I don't know exactly what day it is. Do I ever know what day it is? May 15th. Um, the workers are outside and they are working on the front yard, so I'm super duper excited. We had a meeting with our landscape architect this morning and we designed, like, we, we, we judged up the design a little bit since um, last week and I think now we're all on the same page and everything's gonna go beautifully. But right now, Mom and I are headed to um, a fountain store that um, Jesse recommended to us. So we're gonna go check out the fountains there and pick one out for the front. Let's go right in the front. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm so excited. I've always wanted a fountain, any fountain in general. So I'm really excited. So let's go. All right, you guys, we just got here. I'm so excited. I can already see all the fountains and I'm dying because they have all sorts of animals. There's an alligator right there. Then there's a horse like back over down yonder. Can you see him? He's peeking out over there behind um, that other statue. Can you see it? <gasps> Look at the alligator. The kids are going to die for this. So the gentleman that owns the establishment was kind enough to turn on the fountain for us. Mom, this is exactly how I want it. Like this. This is the exact same fountain too. I like this. Really cool. I don't know if it's too large. I don't think so. It's nice. I'm living for all the little sculptures. Mom would not go for it though. But look at those little animals. Oh my goodness. So cute. Look at that little step that's a turtle. <gasps> On this ram bench? Oh no. That is kind of fun. Such fun stuff. That gargoyle. Wow. I like this alligator too. He's like sticking out the floor. I'm also into like these kinds. Maybe not with like the religious aspects of it. But like that style. Oh, I love this one. With the lion. Yes. Love that one. Beautiful. Alright you guys. So we picked out our fountain. I've been switching out like the little pieces and this one is it. This is gonna be the fountain that's gonna go into the front. Hopefully it looks good. I'm gonna like take pictures of it and photoshop it into the <laughs> into the front yard to see how I like it. But it's cool. Alright you guys, so mom and I were contemplating doing this fountain right there with the bottom which I really like because I, I don't know, I like that bottom part of the fountain. And then she likes the one without and we only have eight feet in the space and the bottom part of this is about five feet long or wide so unfortunately we can't really do that one because it's too big and we're not gonna be able to put any plants really around it and mom wants to put like a bunch of roses so we're going to have to forego that unless we think of a way to make the space bigger but we can always add it on later on um but we're gonna get let me show you guys the fountain pretty much is gonna look exactly like this one we really liked it that one back there, it's pretty, I love it. And the actual one we're getting is actually standing over there. It looks exactly the same. It's a little bit lighter, but you can't really tell when it's wet anyway. And yeah, so I'm really excited. And what's really awesome about this place is that he makes all of these himself by hand. He made all of the molds and he made like everything. He just makes everything here himself. So the prices are amazing. That price of the fountain was $290, which is like crazy. And they're made of cement, so they're super sturdy and super heavy and really, really nice. But um, we are, well, mom's paying right now and we're gonna head off already, so let's go. All right, guys, we just got to Costco. Mom got a call from them that her glasses are done, so we're here to pick them up. And we're gonna pick up some food and hopefully some samples. They have so much pool stuff. <laughs> we need goggles. Sample one. Some pound cake. Some salad. They're sampling the sesame seed dressing. I didn't know that Disney sold apples now at Costco, but apparently they do. These are like the little apples that they sell at Disneyland when you go to the restaurant. Organic Gala. Hey right, guys, we left the store. We just got a bunch of groceries. I'm gonna go put this away. That guy's truck is so legit. It's so awesome. Guys, we just got to Target. We're gonna go inside. They have the cutest little pillows and pottery. We're dying. In their home section, of course. I actually own this. 
How cool, it's $25? And I'm looking at all the cute stuff that they have. I literally want everything. And I'm looking at all the stuff that I've seen at the Goodwill before. Like I've seen that table for $15 and here it's 100 I should have just bought it. <laughs> I really like this bar cart. It's really cute. $129. Man. These are fun too. Looking at all their fun stuff. I like the macrame pillows. These are really cool. They're $24.99. The tassel pillows. There's so much cool stuff. I love these pillows too. Oh, I saw this at the Goodwill also. They had that and I have it in the gold. But here it's 80. I saw it at the Goodwill for 40. Oh, I really like this chair. I may have also seen this at the Goodwill. Why do I want everything, you guys? Like, this is a problem. Even these cute little plant things. Oh, this is so cute. I'm so sad. You see, I need this marble tape dispenser and stapler. <laughs> but not really. But it would be cool if I found it at the Goodwill, then I would buy it. This little rhino is cute, too. Everything here is so cute, you guys. I'm like having a conniption. I'm gonna go look at the lighting. Stuff is so cute. And their fake succulents are super cheap compared to, uh, to like Pottery Barn. They're only $2.99 and $4.99. Oh, that cactus. I've seen that at the Goodwill, but it was so broken and bajiggity. Oh, I really like those. They're sparkly. Yes. Oh no. I really like this pillow. It's so sparkly and you can make a design on it. I've always wanted one of these and this is like the chicest one I've ever seen. And I'm also dying for this as well. Love that Target has stepped up their pillow game so much. The only thing that I do not like is that I can't take the pillows out and wash them easily. Like I can't take the cases off. They're all like sewn on, which is really sad. But so cute. Yeah, I have that. 25 bucks. I am dying. They have a unicorn light that lights up from the inside. $16.99. So cute. It's right next to the unicorn light I already own. You guys, look how cute these are. They're a mommy and baby. So cute. They're peacocks. Oh my god, I don't want it to break. This is so cute. It's like a little elephant dish. Oh, it's like a bathroom tray, mom. How cute is that? Oh, look, mom. It's a marble soap dispenser. It's fake marble, but it's actually pretty nice looking. It looks like real marble. It's Nate Burkus. I think all of this is Nate Burkus. These canisters are really nice. These will look so nice in your bathroom because you need like a pop of gold. I think that should be your accent color, marble and gold. Beautiful. Shiny. <laughs> Mom says I'm crazy. Let's see what else they have here. Looking at cute outfits for the kids. And they're so cute. This is my favorite. This is my happy face. The truck is all the way parked into our backyard now. That is so exciting. They're gonna put the... <laughs> the like... Switch. And I like their canvas bags. They're really sticking. I like this little ladybug print. So that's really cute. Ooh, check it out. Todd's. It's probably fake. Let's take a look at the inside. Um, I think it's definitely fake. It doesn't say like, it doesn't have a crest or anything inside of it. But then again, it might be vintage. 